Hi everyone, I'm Tal. In this video, I'll give an overview of our paper, Unsupervised Image Representation Learning with Deep Latent Particles. You are more than welcome to visit our project site, which includes more results, link to the open source code and link to the paper. The main idea of our work is a new variational autoencoder, a VAE, where the latent space is not just a vector, but a set of particles. Let me tell you why this is important and how we do it. Let's begin by asking how to represent images of physical objects. Models like autoencoder or variational autoencoder allow us to compress images to latent codes. However, this representation is usually not good enough for scenes with multiple objects. Slot-based models decompose the scene into predefined number of slots, where slots correspond to objects. This popular approach is naturally generative and allows for probabilistic interpretation. However, it might get difficult to train on scenes with varying numbers of objects, and it is unclear how each slot integrates in the original scene. Moreover, due to its iterative nature, it gets more complex to train when there are many objects and a lot of slots are required. Another popular approach is based on extracting object proposals from patches of images. These models are also gener generative, but they do not require sequential inference. However, these models are limited to moderate number of objects, they are sensitive to the patch size and require complex filtering process to, re to reject proposals. Lastly, an alternative representation is key points where salient areas in the image are assigned the positional descriptor. This simple representation has a clear meaning and can come to many objects. However, learned key points usually have no probabilistic interpretation and have limited generative capacity. We present deep latent particles, or DLP, a new representation of visual data that disentangles object positions from, from appearance. DLP decomposes the input into low dimensional latent particles where each particle is described by its spatial location and features of its surrounding region. We follow a VAE-based approach and introduce a spatial prior for the particle position based on a spatial softmax architecture. To train the VAE, we propose a novel modification for the KL divergence term in the evidence around the elbow, inspired by the chamfer distance between particles. To achieve particle decomposition, a position encoder produces position latents which are then used to extract features from glimpses with an appearance encoder. To ensure the position latent, the position latents have a spatial meaning, we propose a spatial softmax or SSM based prior that produces position proposals. Finally, this set of particles is then decoded with an architecture tailored to handle sets of particles, depending on the scene type. The method is trained as a VAE with the objective of maximizing the evidence error bound, the elbow, which decomposes to the reconstruction error and a KL divergence then. However, here we have two unordered sets, the posterior latents and the proposals from the prior. To account for this, we propose a novel modification for the KL divergence term in the elbow. The chamfer KL is based on the chamfer distance for point clouds and replaces the standard KL divergence term in the elbow for the position latents. Intuitively, the SSM-based prior proposes interesting location for key points. The posterior, not limited by the averaging operation of the SSM, picks good locations that align with the reconstruction objective. DLP is a strong unsupervised key point detector that provides uncertainty estimates. The standard benchmark of unsupervised key point discovery is the linear regression error in predicting annotated key points from the discovered key points on faces from the Celeb A and MAFL datasets. DLP's performance is state of the art and the full table can be found in the paper. Interestingly, the learned uncertainty of the particles can further push the performance up and can be used for model selection and particle filtering as we demonstrate in the paper. DLP is a generative model that allows that allows to modify the image in an intuitive way by simply moving around the particles. We have implemented the graphical user interface to interact with the particles, moving them around and seeing the effect on the resulting reconstruction. In addition, the features of each particle can be modified to change its appearance. Note that DLP is data-driven. The particle semantics are learned from the data. That is, for face images, moving the particle on the nose only modifies the shape of the nose 
while for the traffic data, moving the particle in the car changes the position of the entire car. Finally, we present a simple idea for particle-based video prediction, building a graph from the particle from the particles and using a graph convolutional network to predict the temporal change of particles. Please see the paper for, for, for more details. Thank you. Please visit the project site for more results linked to the paper, an interactive demo, and the code.